Hi, everybody. Chris Lipper on the bus, small business owner coaching. And today's snippet comes from the Entrepreneur's Big Book on page 76, which is in a, a chapter titled How It Works. And we're referencing the 12 steps of entrepreneurship. And today we're discussing the first step, which reads, we admitted we were powerless over our entrepreneurism, hyphen, that it made our lives unmanageable, established a vision of who we want to be and where we're going when we are done. And so where that comes from is a lot of entrepreneurs, they, they do a couple of things before they come to me. And then we sit down and talk. We start with a meditation. We establish a vision. And, and then we have a plan to get to where we're going. But entrepreneurs can do the, a couple of ways. One, they could just be going where the business is, where the customers are leading them. Not bad. But in 10 years, you'll come back to me miserable and you won't like your business because it wasn't your vision. It's where you were led. Um, another thing entrepreneurs do is they keep coming up with next ideas. They don't focus on the current one, which gave them the privilege, the right, the opportunity to go for a next one. And they're just focused now with all their time, money and energy towards the next one. So what I'm suggesting is that entrepreneurs can be a little powerless over this stuff and it can make our lives unmanageable. Hence that hyphen that equals sign. And, um, and the way to get a handle on this is first establish a vision, know where we're going know how we're going to get there and know who we want to be at the end. And let's start becoming that person. Let's start becoming that company. And, and let's get to our eventual goal instead of just keep going for the next thing. Put those in a not for today file. Get your ideas out of your head. Put them all in the file and, and leave it until you're ready. Unless it's the next greatest thing in the world and you really believe that and you bring it to a group like ours and say, Here's what I'm thinking. I got an idea. You know, no entrepreneur it, It's generally not a great thing when entrepreneurs are saying, I got an idea because uh, you're already halfway there, right? You're already halfway in love with the next thing. Um, run it by some people before you put your current business on hold to focus on the next thing. Chris Lipper on the bus, small business owner coaching until the next one. Thank you.